Hi, this is Mark Meyer from MarTech Hero. And in this video, I'm going to show you all the tool called SERP Robot. So SERP Robot is a tool designed to monitor and track the search engine result pages or SERPs of websites for specific keywords. It offers real time SERP checking and can accurately report where a site ranks on Google for different keywords using data loaded directly from search results. So some key features of the SERP robot include the ability to track keyword performance across various devices and locations, making it easier for users to see how their website ranks against competitors, and then they can adjust their SEO strategies accordingly. And I just want to say I am not at all uh, an affiliate or tied with SERP robot at all, uh, so I don't get any kind of commission or anything for recommending this product. Uh, I'm just a big fan of the tool. I actually have some other higher price tools like Ahrefs, but I just find SERP Robot is so much more easy to use, more powerful. It just gives me what I need. Um, and the pricing is, is, is just great. So let's jump over to the pricing real fast. So basically, the way they do their pricing is you, you decide how many what they call SERP bots you want. So one SERP bot is basically gives you 75 keyword searches a day. So if you have 75 different keywords and you want to automatically check those every day, that would be one SERP bot. And that costs only $4.99 a month, which is an amazing price. One kind of interesting thing to point out is they have the monthly and yearly pricing. I think this is the only time I've ever seen this. Uh, the yearly pricing, it actually is the exact same thing as the monthly. It's still $4.99 a month. You just pay it all up front. So you don't get a discount for yearly versus monthly like you do with most SaaS products. And also, the more you increase the number of SERP bots you want, let's say you want 10 for 750 searches per day, um, it still always comes out to the same price per 75 keywords. Uh, you're just doing 10, so 10 times 75, 750 searches per day. But it is really an affordable plan for everything that it does do. So let's just jump into some examples of how to use this. I'm going to bounce over to my personal uh, SERP robot dashboard, as you can see here. This area right here gives you all the project names that you're currently running and just kind of like a high overview of the keywords and how frequently it's being updated. So let's just do an example of how this works. I'm just going to create a new project by clicking new project. OK, for this example project, we're going to track the search engine results for a website called Camping World. I'm a big uh, camping fan, so uh, we're going to do Camping World. So the project name, we'll just call it Camping World. The project type, uh, this is who, what search engine you want to use to check these results. We're just going to use Google. You could also use like Bing or what have you. The domain, we're going to use campingworld.com and here's where we add our keywords so I'm going to type in like campers and then add another keyword I just hit this plus camping supplies and I'm going to keep adding some more keywords here so there we have it I just added nine different keywords and just a reminder each of these keywords counts against like that 75, if you bought the lowest package, the 75 keyword searches a day. So each one of these counts against one of those 75. Next, it says Google region. What region do we want to run these Google search results in? We're going to click uh, US. The search device is just, do we want these searches to be done on desktop, mobile, or tablet? We'll just do desktop. And the search location is we could put in a more specific location. I'm in the Chicago area, so I'm going to put in Chicago, Illinois. And then I'm going to simply hit Add Project. And there we have it. We just uh, added the project, so now we have this new Camping World project underneath our SERP robot dashboard. OK, just for a better demo experience, I let that run for a few days. So now I'm back, and we're going to go into the project name, Camping World. And we're going to see all the different results that we can see here. So I open that up. Up at the top, it just gives us an overview of the project. Uh, project name's Camping World. Gives us the domain, um, we're, what we're checking through Google. Um, the check frequency is every 24 hours, et cetera, et cetera. So then down here, it gives us an overview. Our average position improved the top three, the top 10. So you can really just at a glance see what's going on. 
So down here, it, you'll remember we entered those nine keywords, and here they are. So for example, the keyword campers, uh, the latest result is it's ranking in position two in the SERP. Uh, the best it's ever had was one. When we first added this project, it was uh, actually ranking one. So it dropped, it dropped one since the beginning. This change is how much it dropped or went up since the last update. Now recall, I have this set to run every 24 hours. So yesterday, this was actually ranking three, but it improved by one. Negative one is actually a good thing. It means it went up. So now the latest is two. Conversely, camping chair, this dropped six positions. Um, so now it's ranked 14. And you could kind of quickly see how each of these SERP result changes on a daily basis by just looking at your report. And notice I put in one of the keywords was camping gadgets, which is actually a pretty popular niche of uh, campers. They like their little camping gadgets. Um, they're actually not ranking at all for that. So that's why this is NA, not applicable, because the it's not ranking in the top 100 results. Over here, the URL found, it just shows you for each of these keywords in the position that it's saying, what URL is that SERP sending them to? So this one's sending them to camping, for example. Now, if we click on one of these keywords, we'll even see a little bit more detail on uh, the competitive landscape of that keyword. For example, let's click on camping supplies. So currently we're ranked number two, camping world is. So I'm gonna click camping supplies and that loads this up. And as you can see, it shows you the top SERPs currently as of this last run. So actually Walmart's camping gear is ranked number one then Camping World, then something called King Camp Outdoors and REI and so on and so forth. So you can kind of see where you rank for each keyword based on that keyword against your competitors. And then if I click on this View Full Keywords Details button, you'll just see it over time. I haven't been running this very long, but you can see the rankings over time and how they've been changing. And then down below, you have your SERP check history of on each day, what position was it in? And obviously, if you run this for a long time, you'll have a lot of history here of where your uh, particular keyword is ranking, which is super nice. So we'll go back to the prior page. So another thing we could do is we didn't add any competitors yet, but up here you'll see something that says competitors and like right now it says none. So if we hit this edit button, we can add in competitors. So let's do rei.com. And, and we'll do that kingcampoutdoors.com as well. So we'll hit save. And now you can see we have two competitors added. So now we can more easily see how the competitors are also ranking for these keywords. Also, this is set to run daily, but if you add a new keyword or change it and you want it to run at that time, you just come over here and there's this little... Uh, two arrows circle icon and you just click that and basically is what you're doing is you're asking SERP robot to once again update that search result right now. So it'll take maybe a, you know, a minute or so and then they'll rerun the rankings for that. And I just refresh the page and now as you can see the updated date has all been updated to the current date. So now we have all fresh results. And just to point out, since we added those competitors, if we go back to like our camping supplies keyword, we scroll down, over here, it'll just call out those two competitors we added and tell us more easily in this, this little you know grid or table uh, where they're ranking for that exact same keyword. And then if we view full keyword details, uh, you won't see much of the graph because I just added those competitors. But over here, if I go to the most recent update, it'll show you where the two competitors that we added are ranking currently as well. So it'll start tracking those over time as well. 
Another cool feature of this is you could add notes. For example, back to our camping supplies. If we scroll down, you'll see this thing that says notes. And let's just say for the sake of argument that we're gonna add a note. And then let's just say on April 10th, we like change the H2 structure of the page or something like that. Whatever you did, if you made some kind of cha change to the structure or you added some new content or what have you, then you could add a note and it's added right here. But then when you look at your graph, you could see right here, there's a little note icon here. And if you hover over it, it says we changed the H2 structure. So then you can see based on what you're trying to accomplish, if it had any positive or negative impact or no, no correlation at all um, to that specific action that you took. Another thing you could do back here on the main keywords page is there's this little magnifying glass. So if I click on one of them, let's say for camping tents, it'll just bring up that actual search result and show you in real time what that search engine result page looks like. Very handy. Another cool thing you could do is add tags. For example, camping supplies and camping gear, kind of similar things. So let's just tag them as the same thing. So we're going to go into this little icon that looks like a tag and it says assign new tags. So we'll just call the tags supplies. And then I added it and then you can see the tags added. There's a supplies tag added to this. So I'm going to save changes and then let's do the same for camping gear. Once again, I'm going to click this little tag and type in supplies and it finds it and then add that. And now that tag's added to camping gear as well. I'm gonna hit save changes. So then as you can see, we have this new like toggle right here, supplies and no tag. So if we wanted to see the ones that we just tagged as supplies, we could click that and it just, group, it just groups those two. It just shows us those two. So if you have a whole lot of keywords, and you just want to kind of zero down into different categories, you could easily do that by just toggling this on or off. And obviously, if you add more tags, you'll get more tags right across the top of here, and you could just easily select those. Another great feature up here on the project details area, you'll see something that says email reports. Right now it says none, but if I hit this edit, we can add a report to be emailed to us on a certain, certain frequency. So I'm going to add new report. It says, how often do you want this report sent? The choices are daily, weekly, or monthly. We'll, we'll do daily. Uh, what time? You can say about this time, or you could say, let's say every morning at about 6 a.m. And then let's show more options. The report content it shows you how many days of content you want on that report. The report type, this will email you a PDF. Um, or CSV, or if you just want to get the email only, that's fine. And then you have these different options based on if you select PDF uh, or CSV. But if you just do an email only, it's just going to send you basically a grid kind of like that what looks like this on the dashboard down here. So we'll create a report. And this is just a summary. It's going to send us an email only report, meaning that there's not going to be a PDF or CSV attached every day about six and it's going to send it every day. So we just close out of there and then every day it's going to basically send us something that kind of looks like this down here. You, so you just don't have to log in every day to look at it. If you don't want, you can just open your email and at a quick glance, just see how your keywords are doing, which is super useful. Even uh, Ahrefs, I think I pay the $1.99 a month for that. I can only get that report, um, I think it's weekly, and that's an expensive product. So this one, I just find I use SERP Robot a lot more than any other tool. But that's just a quick overview of everything about this. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with SERP Robot at all. Uh, I just am a big fan of the tool. So I encourage you to go check it out. Uh, they do have a free trial. You could do, I think, 10 keywords a day for a free trial and just see uh, how you like it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.